Well, so I have made a start. I'm going to show you my little start. Look at that. I have done my weeding. Well, some of my weeding. But, uh, can we talk about the Foreign Secretary? I mean, I know Boris Johnson is a subject nobody really wants to dwell on, but he is the Foreign Secretary. And that's really odd. He's incompetent at diplomacy now. I don't know the man personally. He may, in fact, be good at some things. But he isn't competent at diplomacy. He doesn't know how to be subtle or make political bargains or not commit himself or, frankly, be polite. He's not good at polite. I don't think you can do international diplomacy unless you know how to be polite. And yet Theresa May made him the Foreign Secretary. And I don't quite understand why. There's a theory that says it was to allow him to shoot himself in the foot and get rid of him. There's another theory that says better to have him inside where she can keep an eye on him than outside continuing to campaign for a Brexit that nobody th really thinks even the Leave campaign wanted Brexit. They were just trying to make political hay. And then they won. Where did we go right? Why is Boris Johnson the Foreign Secretary? Some of the bumbling idiocy, I think, is an act, but only in the same way that anyone's public persona is partly an act. Some of it is he truly doesn't know what competence would look like in the role he's now in. So he's merrily running around mostly Europe, but the world, creating havoc. And I think it's interesting that when Theresa May gave him the role, she also created a Brexit secretary, which took away from him a lot of the responsibility that you would have expected the foreign secretary to have in the wake of the Brexit referendum. She didn't give him that. She just gave him the rest of the job. I don't think it's a good thing that he's foreign secretary. I... If I had to bet, would say that none of his cock ups have been at quite the level yet for Theresa May to get rid of him. But she is going to get rid of him as soon as he messes up to a sufficiently obvious degree that he can't make any political hay out of her excluding him. So, by that measure, you know, we have six months of Boris Johnson as the Foreign Secretary. He is removed from the cabinet with egg on his face. No one else loses face. She hasn't excluded the Leave campaigners from her cabinet, and therefore from the government. She's let them have a go. They've screwed it up. She's let them go. And the Prime Minister looks willing to work across her internal party lines but also capable of spotting when someone isn't doing the job well enough. It's not a bad strategy as strategies go. The downside is we still get six months of Boris Johnson as the Foreign Secretary.